Oh, on, gee. Man. I'm being selfish. It's been I know, fun. Right? I mean, we'll just, yeah. Don't be diplomatic. I know you're being selfish. <laughs> I said all of us, man. I mean, down diplomatic. to the OG, down to <clears throat> the best chase. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, man, ATM, money, whenever you need it. I'm in the building. I'm happy to be here. What was the first thought that went through your head when they gave you the call to come back in this epic storyline? The first thought was me? They sure they called the right person? But you know what, man? It's just really... And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. On the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. They've got Porter. Junior's out there with Plumlee. Then there's Jeremy Grant. And it's Bay in at the point guard. And for the Grizzlies, Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. Then there's John Morant, then it's Brooks, and it's Melton in at the two-guard spot. All teams tonight, Greg, love to... ...to push the ball up the floor, even off made shots. You know, trying to find an opening before the half-court D can set up. I think you're going to see more and more of that every year. I agree. Here's Melton. Back to Brooks. Takes the three. The rebound by Grant. And now the Pistons. Fast break. And a wide open look for Porter. There's three pointers off the mark. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Brooks outside. Ring shot on the way. Rebounded by the Pistons. Valanciunas, good. Gotta love the big man Valanciunas fighting for that extra chance, and he was rewarded for his effort. Grant outside. And Junior throws it down. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Grizzlies have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Here's Morant. And no good, his first shot of the night, missing. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. This is who you want leading that play, a sure passer with great awareness. Melton feeling it out a bit. Morant outside. Brooks outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Valanciunas. The shot misses. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Porter passes to Junior. Here's Grant. The shot that time, not on target. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. And Jackson gets it to go. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Bay. He's coming off a 10-point game against Denver. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Brooks against Porter. Fires from the wing. Here's Valanciunas. Banked in off the glass. Almost every move Valanciunas makes, there's going to be some contact. He just plays through it. Bay passes to Grant. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. Now flying high and throwing it down down with the one hand one of his favorite moves right there guys the Pistons shooting their first free throw of the evening and their success rate on the season right around 77 percent Morant dishes to Valanciunas 
back to Morant. And that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. The Pistons have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. You look back at that 2019 draft, Zion goes one, Morant goes two, and with everything we know about them now, could you imagine having to make that choice today? That is a tough choice, GA. Or even crazier, could you imagine having both of them on your team? The reason why I say that, as amateurs, they played together in South Carolina. Little did they know at the time, they would be the future of this league. Now, here's Valanciunas. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Here's Bay. They trail by one. Junior kicks to Plumley. Stolen by Jackson. And now the Grizzlies, fast break. Brooks with no one around. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. You can run these plays for Brooks. He's improving in the catch-and-shoot area. Grant outside. Pass to Bay. To the middle. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. And missing your free throws usually changes the complexion of a game. Certainly did in that one. Especially on the road. Each miss fired up that crowd even more. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. His leads have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Passes it to Brooks. From deep, Valanciunas, and staying with the play, Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got eight. And already, they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Here's Junior, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Oh, man, off to a terrific start, yet to miss with six made buckets. Brooks outside. Over to the left wing. Alan Junis finds Morant. And finished off by Morant. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now, here's Grant. 14 points from him the last game against Denver. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Here's Morant. Pass to Melton. Now here's Brooks. Here's Valanciunas. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Ten points for him. He usually shoots a high percentage in the paint. And on that play, Valanciunas got it done. The pass to Grant. Here's Bay. Down low. It's tipped. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And Allen subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. And the Pistons making a change here. Smith with a wide open look. They get the rebound. Porter passes to Junior. Grant outside. The Pistons working the ball around now. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. The willing to work the ball to his open teammate, Smith Jr. This is what leaders do best. Memphis has gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Morant against Smith, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
Greg, the two words you and I don't like yeah. the most in this game, load management. Why do we see more of it now than when you played in the game? Uh, a couple of things. Uh, I think sports science has evolved, and I've talked to a ton of coaches about this. The reality is that now they don't determine whether or not a guy's going to play. It's going to be the, the people that work with the strength and conditioning. They determine if a guy is ready to go. Secondly, I would also say the contracts now, the investments that teams have in these assets, you want to try to prolong their careers as long as possible. And so I think it's a smart move from an investment standpoint. You bring up some great points. Now here's Morant. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against New Orleans. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. Detroit's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Diallo finds Smith. And here's Diallo. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgic, doesn't yeah. it? Grizzly shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Morant against Smith. Morant reaches to Clark. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Dennis Smith. Easy to appreciate the physicality that Clark plays with. This is what earns him those calls. And Memphis making a change here. Winslow's checked in. And watching Brandon Clark play, first thing you notice, the young fella plays above the rim. He's very quick off the floor, G.A. Had a max vertical of over 40 inches at the combine. Did you hear me? Over 40 inches. And I think he was the steal of the draft. Fortunately for the Grizzlies, he failed to 21. And here are the Grizzlies. Now Winslow. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The 10th overall pick back in 2015, just as Winslow has been fighting injuries. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. Then it's Brooks. Then there's John Morant. And it's Melton in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. That puts them in the lead. Morant's got eight points. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Junior, and Junior throws it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. It's Brooks on the wing. He's covered by Grant. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Just a real solid all-around player. Brooks that time drawing the foul. And both free throws good for Brooks. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. To the paint. And Junior throws it down. He's really taken a hold of this first half and made it his. He is making all the right decisions out there. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Nuggets, was tremendous. He had an impressive number of points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss, and he'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. It'll be interesting to see, Greg, how much of that performance carries over to tonight. And, Kevin, different scenarios call for different measures. I'm sure he'll just try to provide whatever they need for the win. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. Out to Morant. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Moran's got five points in the quarter. 
A player who's aware of everything around him. Brooks sees the man break open and hits him. And Junior throws it down. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. And here are the Grizzlies now. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. It's game one of a three-game road trip. Pass to Melton. That's a good opportunity, but he needs to go up a little stronger, in my opinion. Pass to Junior. Here's Bay. To the inside. Oh, my goodness! Did you see what a that play. One, Kevin? <laughs> Unbelievable! Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Morant passes to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Brooks. Here's Jackson. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. B passes to Porter. Down low. Here's Junior. The kick out to Porter. Pass to Junior. Lays it up off the glass. Junior's got 32 points in the game. Just impress with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for Memphis. They trail by one. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Stolen by Brooks. Here's Melton. And he takes that one up and powers it through. This is what Dylan is built to do if you give him enough touches. Score and volume. Grant outside. To the paint. It's stolen by Valanciunas. To the middle. Here's Morant. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. And it's a five-point Memphis lead. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period. So for the Pistons, their last game, a win against the Nuggets. Inside, here's Junior. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Junior's got 34 points. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. So it's the Grizzlies now. Up top, Valanciunas. He's guarded by Plumlee. And Valanciunas kicks to Morant. Outside for Jackson. And stolen by Junior. And Junior throws it down. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. Memphis has gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Morant outside. Outside Jackson. On the wing, Brooks. Here's Melton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Good work there as it goes. And the Pistons decide to take their first time out right here. Greg, we know the names of the superstars, but there are players that are just under that category who probably should get a little more recognition. Hey, hey, Kevin, that's a great point, and I'm going to toot my alma mater's horn a little bit. Christian Wood's a guy that kind of good one. Yes. reminds me of that. He's kind of on the come up. How about Devontae Grant, mm -hmm. the second rounder back in 2018? But he's showing to be an established young talent in this league. And there are many more guys like that, and they're going to have their opportunity to become household names. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Memphis. Memphis has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's Brooks. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. What makes Dylan Brooks especially valuable to a team, he's a competitor who you can count on to produce in the clutch. And both free throws good for Brooks. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. To the inside. And Junior throws it down. 
My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Jason Allen's checked in for Brooks. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Smith has checked in. The Pistons shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. And the free throw, no good. Memphis leading. It's Allen on the wing, covered by Smith. Anderson outside. And he gets it to go. Anderson's got his first bucket of the night. On the drive, Anderson won't blow by you, but he'll find a way to get his shot. To the middle, here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now, here's Anderson. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Floats one, and he sinks the layup. Anderson's got his second bucket of the night. A high percentage look for Kyle has the size and length to be a factor inside. Porter looking it over. And finished off by Porter. Well, part of Porter's efficiency comes from good decision making. Gets the shot he wants and doesn't hesitate. Memphis has gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Morant against Grant. And it's Morant missing. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Here's Junior. The kick out to Porter. And the pass to Grant. Nice ball movement by Detroit. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. The Pistons shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. So both teams making some changes here. Free throw good, Junior. And Joe Allen will bring it up for the Grizzlies. Trailing by two. Another shot and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Junior in this game, he's been everywhere. And he's been a monster in this game, throwing down some huge dunks. And I wasn't sure the rim would even survive in that first half. And I can't wait to see what he has in store during this second half. Some of those jams were downright absurd. And on the floor for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Otto Porter Jr. out there with Jr. Then there's Plumley. Then there's Jeremy Grant. And it's Bay in at the one. And for Memphis, they're shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Porter against Brooks. Down low, here's Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Kicks it to Grant. There's the dish to Plumley. Pass to Junior. Jackson comes over with the double. Grant outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Bay. Rebounded by Jackson. And the Grizzlies leading by four. And of course, Jaron Jackson Sr. played in the NBA for over a decade. And yes, Jaron Jackson Jr., he talks about watching his dad, learning what it takes to be a professional in this league. That prepared Jackson Jr. to make an impact early on. 
Grant the pass to Porter. And the rejection by Valanciunas. You see the length of Valanciunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Morant with the ball. As creative as they come, John Morant has a style that's specifically his. Pistons trail by six. Grant outside to the paint. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Morant kicks to Brooks. Passes it to Jackson. From past the arc, Brooks misses. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Junior the pass to Bay. Plumley trying to break loose. Here's Junior. Good, he hits again. My goodness, 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Morant surveying the D. Jackson, good, and a nice assist from Morant. Jackson's got nine. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Bay passes to Porter. Here's Junior. Good, that's another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Brooks outside. Pass to Dallin Tunis. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Lock at six. Here's Melton. He's covered by Grant. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you've got to protect the ball. The Pistons trailing. Bay passes to Porter. Junior kicks to Porter. Inside. Grant against Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Porter passes to Junior. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Morant outside. The pass to Jackson. Over Junior. That one rolling around and rims out. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Morant outside. Detroit with the rebound. Plumlee's got four rebounds now tonight. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But, Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. A two-point game. And Brooks, here we go. That one, no good. Lumley with some nice D. Here's Porter, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one's on Morant. Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about, I actually averaged more points in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. 
stronger than his frame might suggest. That's a big time and one by Ja. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. That's good from Morant. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. You have to like what you're seeing from Ja Morant. You have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double, whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. Pistons have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Outside, Porter. To the middle. Here's Junior, and the layup's good off the glass. Junior's got 56 points in the game. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Brooks outside. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. Brooks has got it all tied up now for the Grizzlies. The ability to finish with either hand makes Brooks a dangerous score around the bucket. To the inside, and Junior throws it down hard. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. <laughs> In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> it's Jackson atop the key. Brooks outside. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. 21 points for Brooks. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Here's Bay. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Morant outside. On the wing, Brooks. He's covered by Grant. The putback. The Pistons leading. Here's Porter. Pass to Bay. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Valanciunas has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Passes it to Valanciunas. And it's Junior with the rebound. Junior's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Morant with the steal. And here we go. Fast break and Morant's got it. Jackson down low. Guarded by Porter. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. And Memphis making a change here. Clark's checked in. And a switcher also for Detroit. Stewart's checked in for Plumlee. Here's Bay. Here's Junior. He got it again. Sensational. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. The Grizzlies trail by three. Clark, the pass to Jackson. And they double up Jackson. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Clark, the pass to Anderson. Brooks outside. Six to shoot. Let's go. That one off the back iron and out. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. And Stewart gets it to go. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. And here's Morant. He's got 22. Pass to Clark. Detroit with the rebound. Junior's got six rebounds in the game. Porter passes to Junior. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Junior's got the lead up to seven now for Detroit. Memphis has gone past the three point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Morant passes to Jackson. Great vision by John Morant. Has the pass. What's up? And 
And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Brandon Clark is out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's Allen. And it's Tillman in at the five down low. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And the layup falls. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. The Grizzlies trail by five. Allen with it. Feeds to Clark. And it's denied. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. And another one falls. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. The Grizzlies shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. There's the pass to Tillman. That shot is off. Some solid defense from Junior. To the paint. And good! There's another. And that's 70. He's unbelievable. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Allen for three. A three-pointer is right on target. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes. And if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Can't hit that one. And it's Detroit the other way. Down low, here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. This is basketball 101. This is the size mismatch you look to create. The Grizzlies have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Melton passes to Clark. The, the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. And he knocks down the first one. So both teams changing it up here. And so he's able to get one of two. Detroit leading by nine. Here's Grant. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Morant passes to Clark. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It, it is, Kevin. And, and, yeah, some people like the physicality of the year I played in. But, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement. And I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling. And, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. And the first one drops. Plumley hits them both. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Porter against Brooks. I love Brooks' offensive versatility. Can score from all three levels. Pistons leading by nine. Outside, Porter. Inside, here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. You know he's going to take a lot of shots out there. He's their number one option right now. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's Morant. And it's blocked. 
but they recover it. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. To the middle, here's Junior, and Junior throws it down hard. There's always been a level of savvy to Porter's game. Beautiful pass. Memphis has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Here's Valanciunas. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Valanciunas. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. For Detroit, they've gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're eight of nine on field goal attempts in the quarter. Down low. And another one. And there's 80 points. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. This guy right now on another level. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Here's Morant. The Grizzlies with another miss. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Detroit Pistons. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Inside. And another one falls. Amazing. And that score moving him clear into third all time for scoring in a game. Well, G.A., you just knew it was a matter of time the way he's been playing. I'm sure he's not finished either. Deep two from Brooks. Offensive rebound. And staying with the play, Valanciunas. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. The Pistons on offense. They're on a 16-7 run. To the paint, here's Junior. And Junior throws it down hard. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Well, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Now, Morant. Tries yet again. And Valanciunas with the layup. Valanciunas has got four this quarter. And you can see the second chance points now starting to be a major factor. Outside, Porter. Now, here's Grant. D right on him. Plumley, the pass to Junior. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down, but through contact, he'll head to the line. And that's a smart foul there. Instead of giving up the easy deuce, send him to the line. First one falls for him. Jaron Jackson. He's checked in for Memphis. And he can't hit the second. Craig, after we saw top prospects like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton playing a year in Australia, the NBA G League sweetened the deal to attract those blue chippers to this uh, to this G League, which I think is a very interesting topic and a, and a very interesting way to go. It, it is. You know, I think the salaries now could exceed a half million dollars, not to mention the endorsement deals. And they're on a single team that's built around their needs. Certainly an enticing option for those who want to skip the college route. Does this affect colleges, in your opinion, and their recruiting? Not at all. You're going to love your school no matter who plays for them, especially if you're winning. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And the new G League Pro Team Smitty signed a number of five-star high school basketball players. How do you think this is going to impact the college game? Well, I think it's going to impact it, Kevin. Um, you miss out on those stars, for sure. But I think you'll get more guys that'll play two, three, four years in college, which will give college basketball more consistency. And Junior throws it down. He is single-handedly carrying this team right now thanks to his terrific scoring performance so far in this game. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Here's Melton. Here's Valanciunas. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Love the aggression that Valanciunas showed there. He walked up the contact inside to get to the line. At the line for your Grizzlies. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. Two shots. Valanciunas hits them both. Pistons leading by 18. Grant outside. 
And the official signaled the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Just another example of losing concentration. His fourth turnover of the evening. He has to start protecting the ball better. Morant dishes to Valanciunas. Misses in close. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Uh, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. The loudest and craziest fans get a free T-shirt. Let's hear it, fans. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taken on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack to make sure they'll be walking out of here with a win. Pistons leading by 18. The feed to Junior. He kicks to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Memphis has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. And he double up Morant. Here's Bay, guarded by Morant. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Valanciunas on the double team, and it's slammed in by Plumlee. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and ten rebounds. That's the pass you want, orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Porter against Brooks. Tips it, and the second chance effort by Jackson. Jackson's got nine points here in the second half. Always better to be lucky than good when it comes to offensive rebounding. And unless you're as good as he is, then those tip-ins are all about skill. An efficient facilitator when he's asked to do it. Porter with the sweet dish. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. Pass to Brooks. Out to the wing. Clock at four. Now, here's Morant for three. Kept alive. Jackson misses. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. To the inside. Hits it again. Wow. That's 91. An incredible feat. Uh, this is just flat out insane. Here's Morant. Up top, Valanciunas. To the middle. Here's Jackson. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to be on Mason Plumley. Look at the big man Valanciunas showing off the playmaking skills. Stewart's checked in for the Pistons. Pistons leading by 18. Bay passes to Porter. Another one goes. Incredible. And that score moves him up in the record books yet again. He now stands, Greg, alone for second place for points. What an unbelievable night. Brooks outside. Over Porter. The Grizzlies with another miss. 
The Pistons shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Hey, you're ready now. You're ready. 124 left in the fourth. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Pistons. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-gamer. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Junior. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Porter kicks to Grant. Passes to Stewart. Let's the three fly. The Grizzlies pull it in. Here's Melton. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Another day, another dime. John Moran has that pass-first mentality, keeping his teammates involved. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The Pistons working the ball around now. Yes, that goes in. And the Pistons lead by 20. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The first free throw is good. Good on both. To the paint. Stewart passes to Smith. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin to come into an opponent's building and die. dominate the way they did tonight, says I think. Break an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. <laughs> I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.